What's going on, everybody? Big Twig here with SupLifeStores.com, bringing you another What in the Sup World is That? Now, today, we're going to be talking about and unraveling creatine monohydrate. Arguably, it's the most studied and longest-selling supplement there is when it comes to sports nutrition, so we have to talk about it. Now, this will be a two-part video. I'm going to show you why creatine is not only your ally for life and health, but even when it comes to fighting cancer. That's right, and we're gonna share a story about that at the end. In the world of supplements, there are only a few compounds that have earned the widespread acclaim and scientific validation, that means backed by scientific studies, that creatine monohydrate has. This powerhouse nutrient isn't just for bodybuilders. It's a versatile enhancer that transcends age and fitness levels. So whether you're a dedicated athlete, a student, or someone looking to safeguard their cognitive health, creatine, it holds the key to unlocking your full potential. Now, athletic performance and muscle building are central in creatine's reputation. This remarkable molecule, creatine, is intricately tied to the production of what we know as ATB, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. It's the energy currency of our cells. A study published by the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine found that creatine supplementation significantly improves anaerobic performance and it boosts muscle power making it an invaluable aid for athletes that are seeking the extra edge. At the core of generating our energy from within lies adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP, the cellular energy fueling everything from muscle contractions to cognitive functions. Yet, the narrative extends beyond ATP. Creatine's role in the ATP creatine phosphate system completes a pivotal cycle optimizing energy utilization. Our energy currency, ATP, boasts of three phosphate groups. As ATP releases energy, it loses one phosphate and it becomes adenosine diphosphate, ADP, instead of the ATP it once was. This energy propels cellular functions from muscle motion to nerve impulses and much more. Creatine now takes center stage. Creatine, present in our bodies and certain foods, plays a key role in the energy equilibrium. When ATP dips and during you know, intense activities, creatine intervenes. It binds a phosphate, becoming phosphocreatine, PCR, a reserve. PCR swiftly donates its phosphate to ADP during the energy surges, uh, surges, rejuvenating and replenishing ATP, bringing it back from a two-part phosphate to a three-part phosphate, completing the phosphate cycle. Now, without creatine, cells possess adenosine diphosphate, ADP, lacking a vital, a vital phosphate for efficient energy transfer. That's when creatine steps in, and it promptly donates the phosphate that it has. ADP transfers back to ATP, primed for another energy release. This revitalized ATP fuels immediate energy needs. Creatine completes the ATP creatine phosphate cycle, ensuring quick, potent actions like sprints, lifts, and other bursts where cellular energy is needed. Now, creatine facilitates replenishment of ATP during high, in, uh, high energy and intensity activities, enabling you to push harder, recover faster between sets. Recovery is a critical aspect of any fitness journey. And here again, creatine shines. Not only does it expedite the muscle repair post-exercise, but it also promotes muscle protein synthesis, contributing to greater muscle gains. But the magic of creatine extends way beyond the confines of the gym. Research has unveiled its potential cognitive advantages, enhancing memory and mental acuity. A study published in the Psychopharmaco Psychopharmacology uh, journal demonstrated that creatine supplementation with it improves working memory and overall intelligence, underlining its role in supporting cognitive health. Now, creatine's benefits extend to the realm of health recovery as well. For adolescents recovering from traumatic brain injuries, also known as TBIs, creatine monohydrate has emerged as a promising aid. A study published in the Journal of Neurotrauma, actually, uh, it highlights creatine's potential in mitigating the long-term cognitive effects of TBIs in adolescents, providing hope for young individuals striving to regain their cognitive abilities. Now, as we age, we, you know, we decline cognitively, and it becomes a real concern. Enter creatine once again, with research, you know, backed by research, suggesting the potential delay of onset Alzheimer's disease. A study, again, in the Neuro, uh, Journal of Neurochemistry found that creatine supplementation 
can protect neurons and mitigate the progression of Alzheimer's, offering a beacon of hope for aging populations. Now, out of all the benefits, immune benefits seem to be the most important, in my personal opinion. Very recent research in the past couple of years, maybe two or three, that has been illuminated the facet of creatine monohydrate's benefits, revealing its potential impact on our immune systems. Now, studies have shown that creatine interacts with our immune cells, particularly the nucleus of our hunter T cells, enhancing their function and responsiveness. This interaction contributes to a much more vigilant immune system capable of swift identification and response to potential threats, specifically cancer, which again, we're gonna talk about in the part two video of this uh, two-part two video series. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk about that in the next video.